Hey everyone, I'm Mike with another movie scoop, and this time we're talking Ready Player One. So yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of a different movie scoop this time. I'm here with Craig. Hello. And we're going to be talking uh, Ready Player One. Craig has read the book. I have not, so he's going to get a little different perspective on what's going on. And we're just going to talk a little bit about the movie, say what we liked and like about it, and then we'll probably uh, move on into some spoilers. So, uh, how long ago did you read the book? Uh, I believe it was last year, maybe last January or so. So it was fairly recent. Okay, so you remember like most of it and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what did you think about the movie? Maybe movie based on uh, movie versus the book, all that good stuff. Sure. Yeah. Well, going into the movie, I knew it was going to be somewhat different from the book, and even just looking at the trailers, I, I knew that there were going to be things that are quite different from the book. So I, I wasn't expecting like it to be super faithful to the book. Um, uh, but but I I still liked it. I still enjoyed it. It was it was a fun movie. Um, but yeah, I, I I guess I think I wish they maybe would have incorporated a few more things from the book, more, um, more a few more things faithful to the book. But so are you I, saying? But I mean, there's got there there's a ton of stuff in the book. So I mean, it's it's a hard thing to pick and choose what you want to bring from the book. But but I liked. It. I think they did a pretty good job. The main plot points and the main characters are all there, but they just they did things a little bit um, differently and, of course, out of order and such. So and condensed stuff. But, but you so know. are there are there specific story aspects of it or are there actual because I heard there's pop culture references that are actually more involved in the story. Would you have liked to see that? Because it seemed like a lot of the pop culture was like, hey, we're like less than a second like literally blink and you right. miss it yeah oh and they had stuff in the in the movie they had stuff from even like more current stuff like that wasn't yeah. even out when the book was written like overwatch and um there was some halo and oh, minecraft yeah, that references wasn't in there too <laughs> so the sequel uh will have more of the more uh modern references huh maybe i haven't really i don't know in any much information about the sequel. I don't know. But It'll, it's maybe. coming. Don't worry. Cool. Yeah, the sequel book sequel could be cool. But like, wasn't the book only take only took place in the eighties? Eighties pop culture, right? That was the main stuff. That because that was the the, okay. the holiday guy. He's into all the the eighties. That's his. Yeah, all his uh, childhood and stuff. And so most of okay. the things of the challenges uh, were. Deal, dealt with 80s yeah. video games and um, 80s movies. Did you like the pop culture references in the movie? Have a couple fun ones? Yeah, I thought they were good. Uh, the were they as Giant... good as the book, though? What? Were they as good as the book? Like the yeah, references? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, but I think there there are a few things that I would have liked just things that, that I enjoy. Like, for example, there's a part of the book that has the a part of the challenges has to do with some Rush music, music from Rush. Oh, yeah. But in the movie, there wasn't any Rush music. There might have been a poster and somebody might have worn a T-shirt or something of Rush. Uh, uh, but there weren't wasn't any Rush music. So that was um, a Except the first trailer did have Rush music. Right. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. it. <laughs> so yeah you're like where was that yeah so you think the challenges were a little bit easier not easier but like better in the book yeah there were they seemed to be harder <laughs> too in the in the book would you I have mean, liked the movie more if you hadn't read the book i don't know that's the thing so okay. so you as someone who hasn't read the book did did you enjoy the movie yeah okay so um I love VR. I am oh, yeah. obsessed with it. <laughs> no, it's great. I knew this was going to happen too. You know, we've talked about VR. Mm -hmm. uh, you had VR. I was going to get VR. I told you about VR. 
you got it instead of me because the price point was a sticking point for me. You mm. loved it. A year later, I was like, mm, but like what? I, and I'm like, well, I really love it. And then I put the headset on and then I was like gone. And then I put an IV in my arm and I'm just like, I lay there <laughs> for like the whole day. And then I just watch or experience mm. it. <laughs> so as a VR movie, if you said, Mike, here, let's take everything in your head. Let's throw it in a screen. Let's do this. Yeah, I thought that was great. I, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, the thing is, though, I have movie pass, so I can watch like any movie like ever. Yeah. So I just I go to see movies and I don't really think twice about whether it's worth it or not. Because I think sometimes you go to see a movie and you're like, oh, is that worth 10 bucks? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> like you watch a movie on TV, you're like, that was free. I don't care. Whatever. It's a TV yeah, yeah. movie. T yeah. So I, I went out with a uh, it was a group of guys. We went out to, to go. Oh, nice. Um, it was actually originally planned to maybe go see Pacific Rim, yeah. but somebody's like, what about Ready Player One? And so we're like, oh, okay, let's go see Ready Player One. So, but I don't know. Um, it was, so yeah, it was fun to be with the guys and That's watching true. it and talk to them a little bit about it afterwards and stuff. But I, I'm not sure if I would have enjoyed Pacific Rim more than this one or not, but I mean, both probably would have been pretty similar. Well, but, <laughs> and yeah, we're, I was talking I about this uh, to somebody where it was, um, actually we talked about it on the podcast, where they have, uh, the Pacific Rim is just like, there's no real story. Actually, the first Pacific Rim had a lot better story, which isn't saying much, which mm -hmm. means how bad right. the second <laughs> movie is. <laughs> I enjoyed it because I love giant robots and giant monsters beating the crap out of each other. Uh, if you go in for anything more than that, no. And that's the other thing. Again, is Pacific mm. Rim worth ten bucks? Uh, yeah. You know, catch yeah. it at the three dollar, <laughs> whatever. Catch it on TV. Whereas for me with Movie Pass, yeah, boom, I'll, I'm gonna go see it again just because I can. Boom, just mm -hmm. wipe the card. Um, Ready Player One, nice. though, I will say it seems it does. You know, it's the story for the most part. It do, it does what it can with what it's got. I enjoyed the story. Uh, and yeah, I would say it's worth more, but I mean, the other thing too, is seeing them in the theater because you have such right. a bigger epic experience in the theater versus, well, the crappy movie theaters I have not, it's not yeah. quite the same, <laughs> but if you have really nice theaters, it's awesome. Nice to see theater. Them. Yeah. Nice sound. Yeah. 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 Because even my friend visited and said, wow, your theaters, the sound is like really muffled and weird. I'm like, I know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know. It's just, I, I, I get it. Because I went up north. I saw Pacific Rim on a giant screen with sound. I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. So, uh, but I think with with uh, Ready Player One, it's just if you, and I don't know how people, how non-VR people will watch Ready Player One. Because as I'm watching it, I'm like, yeah, you put on the VR headset, you're just in a world, you're just, you're gone. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, I've, I don't know if I said this before, but um, when I was playing sports bar, we played uh, pool together, your uh -huh. VR headset floating right above mine, and I have to look up at you, even in VR, you're still like <laughs> three inches taller than me. I'm like, yeah, that's fun. But when I was playing that alone... And I was done with the VR. This was like one of the like second or third time using VR. And I was sitting there and I looked for a split second. After I was done doing skee ball, I looked around for the exit. And then I realized, <laughs> oh, and then I took my headset off. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, this is what VR is. Okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. So, yeah, I just I love the VR aspect of it. I will mm -hmm. agree with others who have said I would have liked it to have gone further, and I read about how there's a part in the book what he goes to school, people work uh -huh. in it. Yep. They didn't really yep. show a lot of that stuff, and I really would have liked to. And you you don't get mm -hmm. um, how it affects like because supposedly everybody's so addicted to the VR that like re the real world has suffered, and that's why they mm -hmm. live in trailers and stuff. But then you see like everybody's just fine. Oh yeah, they're just playing in the street. It's fine. Right, yeah. Like, but I thought, like, I thought it's creating a dystopia of, of, like, withered away bodies, kind of like in um, was it Minority Report? 
there's a movie where people go in and then they just get know. stuck in their virtual worlds and then they like have an IV hooked onto them. So, ah, I don't know. I haven't seen that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, I, um, I liked it. I thought that maybe it was aimed at a little bit younger audience. Um, but uh, I'm not sure if you you felt that way. Um, well, I don't know because a lot of the references. I don't think a younger audience is going to... Well, we'll get into spoilers when we talk about that. Um, I mean, I could see it being dumbed down for... I mean, not dumbed down, but like it had to be simplified to be a movie. Mm, right. Like, they couldn't be as intricate as they were in the book just because it's a different media. Medium, you know. True, yeah. But uh, overall, I liked it, but I could, I could see how the whole time I'm watching it, and I think when I watch it the second time, it'll be a little... Uh, I I'll have less of a problem with this, but the whole time I was thinking, oh, they could have done this better. Oh, they could have done that better. Oh, they could, you know, like the potential. Mm -hmm. I saw mm -hmm. the potential, like like I said, showing more of the VR world, and the big problem I had was, uh, the real world in the movie isn't really exciting at all, and that's like real life. No. That's real right. life versus VR. <laughs> Because it was kind of like, I kind of felt like um, when you have certain movies that show like the special effects versus not, where it's like, yeah, VR world is so cool. And I'll talk a little bit more about it when we get into things. But um, I just felt like, and you know, again, it's like, oh, the real world, we're going to show people with their VR headsets doing stuff. Like, that's it. Like, there's no, mm -hmm. like I said, there's no showing like how the future has been affected by everybody in the VR world. Like, yeah. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, enough dancing around. Let's get into some spoilers. Sure. And that way we can kind of dig into it. So spoiler alert. I need my spoiler alert button because I have my stream deck now and I can, it actually can work as a soundboard. Nice. So, uh, yeah. So, spoilers. Um, I did not actually know. So I didn't actually watch any trailers. So I didn't know who the people okay. look like in real life. <laughs> right. And so when I was watching it and I'm like, she, the girl's going to look like her avatar. She's not going to be like, when she's like, oh, you're going to be disappointed. Like, no, we're not. <laughs> That's not what's going to happen. She's not some 55 year old woman who's, you know, like done They're like, overweight that's dude like, living in his mom's basement yeah like that's been doing drugs like no she's a young girl just like her avatar whatever so mm -hmm. and then like oh no he's it's so heartwarming that he accepts her for a large birthmark she yeah. does she has a flaw <laughs> she has a lot does she have that in the book like how is the book yeah it's it's similar i don't know i mean i think it's something with her face there's an abnormality or something like that but it's but it's he's fine with it yeah type of, yeah so. I knew a person once that uh, she had a glass eye, and she would cover the glass eye with her hair. Yes, I think I know that same person. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like this girl. She covered her birthmark, and then he like moved it mm -hmm. aside, and she's like, oh, my hair. Uh. Yep. So <laughs> I'm saying if she had a glass eye, that would have been made more sense. Actually, that would have been really bad, yeah, because no. then she wouldn't have death perception in VR. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be hard to... Yeah. I don't know. Like, how is no, VR? It, I think it is something like. Is that no, sorry. Effect? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, going back to the real world versus VR. So VR, it's all crazy. It's awesome. There's a bunch of crazy stuff happening, and then you go to the real mm -hmm. world, and you have a postal truck getting bumped by a car. Right. I'm like, wow, that's <laughs> not exciting. Yeah, and also in the book, um, things are more spread out like the book doesn't start in columbus ohio he starts he lives somewhere else in the stacks somewhere else and he ends up moving into columbus oh, ohio because it takes place be... over years and this only takes place over weeks right yeah so um yeah so yeah definitely the challenges take a lot longer to to figure out where they are and um also just attempts at the challenges yeah. there's a lot more of them and that's um, that's the problem i had that's the biggest problem I had with this movie is the challenge. Like the whole point of the challenges are these are so hard. These are so hard that nobody 
has ever been able to figure them out for five years. People, I don't right. know how it is in the book, but in the movie, five <laughs> years, nobody's mm-hmm. been figured out the Easter egg of this race. And the mm-hmm. answer has been... The drive backwards. Drive backwards. <laughs> yeah. You, I mean, you knowing can't video tell games, me. Yeah, like somebody, somebody hasn't thought somebody of that. figured it out like, <laughs> within like two weeks, I'm sure. Even if they said... <laughs> Even if even if he drove backwards, he goes to the brick wall, and he sees one specific brick that he has to touch. Yeah, okay, uh-huh. that makes sense. But like, you literally drive backwards. I'm like, no, no, no. Mm. How many speedrunners there are? How many glitches they learn? Like in Legend of Zelda: Breath of the yeah. Wild, instantly they learn how to beat the game in 40 minutes because they know you you. You, they figured out a glitch. You hit the the tree just right. You jump on the tree. It mm. launches you. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's just, and, and I, I mean, it was cool, but it was just disappointing. Uh-huh. I'm like, and I, I can I can see how some of the the things in the in the book maybe wouldn't have made would have uh, been like interesting Still for mobile. a movie. Yeah, like so the very first challenge, well, it's it's hidden. Like you have to find a little hidden thing. Easter egg. Yeah, but and then also there was something that had to do with Dungeons and Dragons. Oh um, really? Yeah. Uh, so you had to go through a part, and then when you get to the and like you get into this place there's like this demon guy i don't remember exactly who it is but he's um i think that's a a dungeons and dragons reference or something like that but then he has an arcade cabinet that has the joust oh nice game and so that joust like he has to beat this guy this demon devil or whoever it was at, at the game of joust and I guess I won't spoil the, the book he, and how he figures out how to do how to get past that. In like but, it's is it like Joust VR or is he actually just playing the Joust no, game? So in VR he's actually playing the Joust yeah. cabinet. Yeah, okay. Playing the yeah, so it's similar to kinda of at the end of this, like the end. And yeah. At the end they're playing the Atari. Um Yeah. But yeah, he had to he had to beat this this guy at Joust. Um so yeah. Also, another thing from that I, I was maybe a little disappointed about in the in the movie, how H had a um, like a warehouse or whatever he. Was oh in, yeah, that's out. right. In the book, he the, his hangout was a basement. Oh, and so it was, like, it, was a, it was a common hangout spot. They visited it multiple times. Parents basement. Um, yeah, that's where the the high five meets for the first time. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah, and I um, when they first met up, that was kind of anticlimactic in the movie. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, that's me. Huh? Ah, oh. Meh. All oh, right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, the, then the, also, the order of of when people meet up in actual real life, yeah, is completely different in the book. And I thought things were a little rushed in the movie, but I mean, the dude, the, I guess, yeah, like I said, yeah, do, do what you, you gotta do. Condense it. Condense it down. Yeah. But, but yeah, so um, what else? But yeah, were you surprised that H wasn't what you expected? Well, I mean, and I figured it was kind of fun because, like I said, I didn't watch any of the trailers. I mean, I watched the first trailer, but then I was just blackout. So it was it was kind of fun to see them all in real life. I'm like, oh, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and then the other problem is when she said the main girl, I don't even know, oh, Sam, Samantha. Is that, is yeah. that her name in the book? Yeah, I think so. Too? Yeah, is that who she mm-hmm. is? I don't even know. I don't even know what his name is. Wade, Wade Wilson. Wade, because that's yep. the name. Watts. Of, uh, whatever. Same thing. Wait, Wade Wilson's Deadpool, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's like, "Welcome to the resistance. We're all in resistance against this evil company." Okay, and then everything disappears, and there's like, she gets captured, and then everybody else, the resistance, kind of vanishes. Mm-hmm. I don't. Is that in the book? Is the actual resistance? Because that was basically nothing. Yeah, not really. That that part. Um, so in the book, um, Wade is actually the one that has to go to the detention center, oh, and okay. he, he comes up with a clever way to get out. Um, but but yeah, it's. I think it was a lot more interesting in the book, yeah. um, but it was yeah. It was similar how like you had to kind of infiltrate him from the inside, yeah. but yeah, it was kind of funny how <laughs> the dude just had his password on <laughs> in a sticky note. <laughs> well, I I will say 
uh, dealing with one. Okay, and it is it is I guess I O I, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But still, he it showed the binary code on the wall, and he touched it, and it showed like the icon. I'm like, this it's the ones and zeros. Uh, but <laughs> his avatar was um Superman. Uh huh. Which is kind of fun. Yeah. I was like, hey, that's cool. So yeah, Me Mecha Godzilla was pretty cool in the movie. Yeah, no, exactly. There were some awesome cameos. Mecha Godzilla fighting Gundam. I'm like, yes, I'm on board. I want to go back just to see that. That was great, fantastic. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I'm all, yeah, all, all the cameos were sweet. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, you think, oh, this big company's trying to take over the, uh, the Easter eggs, whatever. You know, wants to make all this money, and you think, oh, is a, is a giant company really going to get a army of people in a virtual reality world? And you think, oh, maybe in the future. No, that's actually happening now. That's like real. Because you <laughs> yeah. have miners, you have gold miners in World of Warcraft. Like giant Chinese companies that have people <laughs> who are virtually mining gold. That's crazy. So <laughs> that's real. That really exists. So I was just, I'm like, that's not far fetched. Uh, something yeah. I did love. Was amazing is when they did show the final art final challenge and it was Atari, you know, and then they said, mm -hmm. Oh, it's adventure. I was like, I, right. I know what it's gonna be. And we kind of yep. talked about this. It's, it's gonna be yep. the first <laughs> Easter egg ever made. And my buddy I went with, he didn't actually know that. He doesn't know a lot oh. about games and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he thought it was interesting. Right. And yeah, uh, but I knew right away too. I, yeah, I'm right. not sure if in the in the book it might have been part of a different challenge or mm -hmm. or part of a challenge to find a gate or something like that. But yeah, in the in the so in the movie you just have to find three keys and boom you you got you get yeah. yeah if you can unlock the thing yeah. But in the in the book you have to find the key, but then you have to find the hidden gate where to use the key. So that's okay. that's fun. So it makes it more than just three challenges. It's, it's like essentially six. almost six. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, there's some cool things in the book they do though for the final gate. Um, but yeah, they they do have like the the big bad company. Um, yeah. I think they they try to put up the force field. Might have been around the first first gate even. So I don't know. I maybe or maybe it was the second gate. But but yeah, I can see why they they only they put it at the end of the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, I loved. I love the fact that it was the final Easter egg was the first Easter the egg. First. Yeah, that, that was cool. And then I thought, we're watching a movie, an actual blockbuster movie showing the first Easter egg. And it was made by Steven Spielberg. Like, if you would have told me that 10 years ago, <laughs> I would have been like, there's no way. What are you talking nice. about? So it was cool. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. It's a good way for people to say, hey, here's the first Easter egg. Here's how it is. So yeah, like overall, I thought it was great. I'm just nitpicking because like it could have right. just the potential, and you know maybe the, the sequel it can fix a few of those things, add to it because I'm sure you know it's been making enough money. Yeah, I'm sure maybe. we'll check it out. Um, and then you watched it in 3D. You said the 3D didn't even help. Um, yeah, I don't think I really noticed the 3D. I mean, we we're sitting kind of in the back, so maybe the 3D is mm -hmm. with less pronounced. You have to sit a the little front bit. row. Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, it. But I mean, I thought it was. It was good. I mean, it didn't have any obvious like in your face. No, nah, yes, it did. Which is yes, did it? it did. The first time he puts on the headset. Okay. And then it yeah, shows I mean, that was, you go into the thing. That was cool to see depth <laughs> and stuff. But I, after a little while, like you just didn't notice. Yeah, it's it just true. Seemed like another movie. No, it's the same with VR. I'm telling you. At first, I put on yeah, the VR headset yeah. and I'm like, wow, the depth and everything. And then now I put it on. I'm like, well, yeah, that's depth. That's it. You have to have that. The only, uh -huh. the only, <laughs> the only time I really notice it is when, like I said, a, a full size person is next to me and their face is next to my face. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're really close. I can see like <laughs> your 3D at my face. And then they go through you, and you're like, Whoa. <laughs> it's just great. Nice. I love, yeah, 3D is great. It's just so good. Oh man, 3D. Well, VR. 
VR is awesome. Yes, VR is, is fun. Um, I did disagree that in the future that far... Well, I mean, I guess they were just visors that were pretty light. Um, it did bug me yeah. that people were, like, playing in the street, all fighting and stuff. I'm like, that's dumb. Yeah, that was a little weird. Like, um... <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, maybe in the future you could see... Because if you would have told me 20 years ago that people are going to be walking like zombies, looking at a screen in their hand not even watching where they're walking, I'd be like, that's weird. <laughs> There's no way right. people would do yeah, that. Yeah, smartphones. <laughs> yeah, and so, now, like, if you were to said to me, yeah, in 20 years, people are going to have visors, and they're just going to, like, be sitting on a bench, moving their arms, uh, I'd be like, that's weird. But no, like, I could see that. Mm -hmm. Totally see it. And I could see, it, like, AR, it's VR and AR combined. So you put the VR headset on, but then you have the camera in front, and the camera tells you and shows you the real world, but then also right. closes it off to VR as well. Mm -hmm. so a little bit of both combining um i did love um i kind of geeked out during the zemeckis cube in the yeah, i didn't quite catch that this is what is <laughs> that reference <laughs> so I, mean, Rob... I know it was a rubik's cube but i don't know about so zemeckis. robert zemeckis directed back to the future okay and it was playing back to the future music all right. And as it was rewinding time. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I wanted more of that. That was so yeah, yeah. cool mm -hmm. that I wanted more of that. It, made, it bummed me out that oh, we didn't get also, more of that. Also, uh, a bummer uh, in the book, Wade also has an X Wing that he flies around in. But rumor I has was, it. I was disappointed that. Can't it was you see not an X Wing anyway. somewhere? I don't know. I mean, I know they referenced the Millennium Falcon. I heard rumors you can see the X-Wing somewhere. Oh, they did have the Firefly ship, the Serenity. Yeah, I think I saw that. I was like, that's yeah. But yeah, a lot of, most of the references was like blink and you miss it. Well, so, and it's it not, not even blink and you miss it. It's the camera is literally like, like pans past them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. yep. Or they're running past the camera. Yeah, it's like blink and you miss it. Like they're literally running past the camera. Like, Just sit. Mm -hmm. Just sit for yeah. three seconds. Just give me at least three seconds to actually yeah. look for people because it was bad. Yeah, like, beginning. oh, it's it's Freddy Krueger and he's dead. Because I saw Blanca and it was like quick, and I and I kind of saw him out of the corner of my eye. I was like, "That's wait, what? Oh, nice. You're really not gonna see? Oh man!" So I was yeah. kind of bummed. Oh, and Chun Li. Uh, spoiler yeah. alert! Mm -hmm. I don't know if I told you this. Uh, so I did. I bought uh more Pixel Pals. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> So I, I figured I needed more games and stuff, so I got Chun-Li nice. as one. Mm -hmm. She comes with Captain Marvel. It's the Capcom versus Marvel fighting. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so I just thought of that one with Chun-Li, so that's kind of funny. And um, what else? Yeah, Goro was cool. I really liked the Goro. Because, like, more stuff like Goro, where he comes up, mm -hmm. grabs him, takes him, you know. Like, just give me five seconds. Right, me... yeah. <laughs> so I'll go back and watch it though and catch a few more of them. Yeah, I think I will too. Oh, apparently, yeah, there's ton. There's like a Protoss in there. I gotta find that guy. <laughs> oh, and then of course, uh, I don't know if you even recognized at the very beginning when it was showing the the world where they're shooting everybody uh, with that H was in. Uh, mm -hmm. And then it showed, I think it was the, the his aunt's um, boyfriend. And he was shooting everybody. I guess was he the one that was in that, wearing the Space Marine? Yeah, armor, uh, right. Maybe, I don't know. Was that him? But anyway, so it showed that Space Marine. That was basically uh, that was Rainer from StarCraft. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like mm -hmm. totally. Okay, so you recognize that? I did. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh my heck, this is awesome. If we get this yeah. many, if we get appearances like this, and then we didn't. So. <laughs> oh, there's a couple. But I mean, like, just a lot. And I mean, yeah, we got Mecha Godzilla. Like, a, a, a few of them had their moments. But mm -hmm. I just wanted more of those moments. Come on. Yeah. Come on, give me more. And I was fine with, like, I, I was fine with pop culture that I'm not really into. Like, The Shining, I enjoyed just because it was, uh, like, it was a cool idea, you know, going right. into a movie. Yeah, I, and cool. I wanted more of that, too. Right. <sighs> Why yeah, was, there are more. Yeah. They're more going into like being inside of movie type of things in the book as well. Yeah, but I don't, The Shining wasn't one of them. But mm -hmm. like Monty Python Holy Grail was one of them. <laughs> um, what else? Um, 
um, what's that movie? Blade Runner. Oh like yeah, in, no, like, of course. In one, of course, they have to go the, to Blade Runner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, things like that. But yeah, I don't think. But yeah. Oh, one other thing. I was disappointed. That was mm. big disappointment. Not really, but <laughs> when he, he he bought the holy hand grenade, he had a holy hand grenade. Yeah. And when he used when he used it, he didn't count. He didn't count a three. I didn't say like one, two, five or anything. He, <laughs> he just threw it. To reference it, yeah. And yeah, I didn't even really, realize until um, I was looking at Easter eggs. I'm like, oh, that's why it's the holy hand grenade. I got it. Oh, yeah, he should have counted before throwing it. <laughs> and I, I am all for, I am all for um, foreshadowing. It's awesome when they foreshadow. I love it. It's great writing when it's done mm-hmm. correctly. Except when he's going through the store. And they're like, no, 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 you don't want to buy that bomb. It kills every avatar, hint, hint. <laughs> I was like, well, I know what's going to happen in the end of the game. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. Yeah, well, I read the book, so I know that happened. But Oh, so they yeah. really did that in the book, too? Okay, that's fine, yeah. then. That's yeah. fine. In, the, so in the book, it was completely different how he got the quarter. That reversion of the extra life. Oh, okay. Um, it was, yeah, it was a lot, a lot. I thought it was a lot more interesting in the book. <laughs> okay, so I had a problem with everybody dying. Um, can't they all just come back to life? Well, he does. He does cause when he gets his powers at the end of the book. When he gets powers of, of, of being controlling the oasis or whatever, he brings back his friends. <laughs> Wait, in the book, he gets powers to control? The, yeah, like, when he has complete control over the Oasis, essentially, um, that's essentially the, yeah, the winning the game, finding the Easter egg. You No, know but, like, what I'm saying is it, he doesn't have to bring his friends back to life. You can just restart instantly, but you just don't have money. Right, and you don't have all your items or anything either. Yeah, okay, so what was the point? Everybody died, but he didn't. But Were they all just back at the starting point? Is that why they just weren't? Yeah, like, I guess so. You can come back I to life. That's what the bad guy did. He came back mm-hmm. to life, like, right after they killed him. Right, yeah, I don't remember how it all I'm just saying, I had a problem with that, where it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, no, everybody died, it was so bad, and he has an extra life. I'm like, I think okay. okay. Is it just because he didn't get teleported back? He can use his extra life maybe. to like not stay there because yeah, if you yeah. die, you just start over, but you just don't have your money. Okay, that's cool. I think cool, the whatever. the final gate was was harder to get to. Yeah, and I guess it costs money to travel. Mm-hmm. So you know, if you don't have any money, you can't get back there. I just thought, yeah, I was just like, okay, who cares? Everybody died. Right. This is not <laughs> the big deal. And I mean, that was. There wasn't a lot of risk, just, oh, you lose your money. Okay, and I get it. Like, yeah, 10 yeah. years worth of money, it kind of stinks. But the other thing is, when the army of bad guys were like, so they would die, and then it's like, oh, you're red. Throw you out. Throw a new person in. Why does it have to be a new person? Why don't we just get another another avatar? Yeah, I don't know. And just pretend know. that it's another person. I mean, maybe yeah. one person per avatar, but, like, you can fake the system. You don't have to tell it that it's, yeah. Right. I don't know, yeah, I thought that was a little weird too. Kind of dumb. But no, yeah. overall, it's great. I'm going to watch it again. Yeah, that's fun. I'm going to check it out. Uh, especially with the, yeah, trying to keep an eye on everything. I'm like, okay, where's Waldo? Check, wait, is Waldo's not in it? Okay. Where's the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like when the Blu ray comes out, you can like. Oh, you can pause. pause that's stuff. true. Like, uh, yeah. I'm sure people will uh, like, go by frame by frame. <laughs> oh, totally. Oh, and I'm sure there's stuff we missed. Just because, like, oh, yeah. yeah, so many things. But, yeah, I definitely want to check it out again just because, yeah, and I'm hoping in the future, and another thing, too, it kind of reminded me of a PlayStation Home. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation Home was ahead of its time. Okay? It was. Do you remember a thing called <laughs> Quincying in PlayStation Home? Yeah, they should release a VR version of PlayStation Home. No, like, but do you remember a thing called quincying? Oh, no, I don't. So you make a pretty avatar girl, and then all the guy avatars go to her. They start dancing around her. And then you switch to a really hideous avatar. (laughs) And then all the guys go, oh, what the crap. 
Uh, People think funny. it's a girl if it's a girl avatar. You're like, not necessarily, just like, what, in the movie? Right. We talked about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah. in real life there would be a lot more. Well, actually, I don't know. Would there be? I'm just statistically, though, you know, it's not 100%. It's going to be a girl. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm I'm uh, excited for the future of VR. Oh, yeah, the Vive Pro headset came out around this time. Um, but they said, you know, it's not really, what, four five hundred dollars $500 more for better resolution. And that doesn't come with all the sensors and stuff. Oh, yeah, it? no, um, $1,100 for all the sensors. <laughs> so I'm like, it's not Holy cow. And I think the, the no, original no. Vive is dropping in price because of that. Right, know? yeah. So just, just get that one. Yeah, so I don't know if it's worth it. Cause, and I'm fine with it. You know, I was worried. You know, PSVR being a... And they dropped that to a couple hundred bucks. That had a price drop. So mm-hmm. yep. I think um, they will release PlayStation VR 2 for the PS5. I'm going to be super excited. But then that's probably yeah, going to be another 500 bucks starting out. <sighs> it's just you, Right when you drop the price, the better <laughs> things go up again. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I am excited for the future of VR. Heck, I want to watch Definitely. Ready Player One in 3D w- in my VR headset. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you get the 3D Blu-ray and it comes out. Yeah, bust that out. It was funny. I was talking nice. to Brian and I said, "Yeah, you can watch 3D Blu-rays." He's like, "What? I hook a 3D Blu-ray player up to my VR headset?" I said, "No, you put a 3D Blu-ray in your PlayStation 4." He's like, "Wait, what?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> it's magic." So. So I'm excited for the, yep. the future of VR, the future of Ready Player One. And yeah, I'm definitely checking yep. it out. So yeah, check it out. Um, it's not, I mean, don't, you're not expecting uh, Hamlet. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some fancy artsy movie. You're not expecting <laughs> Shakespeare. You're just going in for a fun time about people going into a VR yep. world. Yep. It's a fun summer movie. No, it's not summer yet. Fun rock but... Summer's over. I mean, summer movies are done. Because, like, they don't care. Technically, Infinity Ward's not coming out during the summer. Hmm. Like, because it's, like, what, May? So. Yeah, something like that. But, yeah, big big movies on the horizon. And this was, like, this movie actually kind of snuck out. I, I kind of heard about Ready Player One and, like, the book came out. But it seemed like this movie came out pretty quick. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I was like, oh. Because, like, Infinity War seems like it's been... Oh forever. yeah, it's been well been ten years. For a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So anything else? Yeah, I I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, the book book is is more fun, I think. But but as this is the case usually with with books to movie, the book is mm. usually better. <laughs> well, you can dig more into it. Yeah. So I definitely want to check out the book. See what's going on. Because when you were telling me about the book, and you're like, there's coming out with a movie. I was like, this is made for me. This is it. Right, yeah. I kind of maybe wish I would have seen the movie. Well, I don't know. I don't know, because I can see, I like, you, what you, you know, you ruined the movie for me, so it's good. No, I mean, <laughs> I can tell. There's things in the book that could do better. I, you can right. just see it from the movie. Like the development, world, world building. There wasn't a lot of mm-hmm. world building. That was the problem I had. So right. we'll get more of that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Well, that will do it, everyone. So thanks for listening slash watching uh, this movie scoop. And we, you can catch Craig on his YouTube channel. Huh? See, we'll plug you. Just kidding. <laughs> what do you want me to plug you? I can edit this out. Or unless no, it's you fine. want me to, you know. No, yeah, I don't really have, I don't have any videos live yet, but I'm planning on putting out some uh, videos uh showing off my game collection my board game collection so oh yeah and uh i kind of want so craig just backed fireball island uh the kickstarter is up live right now i am tempted Mm -hmm. because it's almost at a million dollars holy cow (laughs) i mean it's at 850 but still it'll be at a million before long so yeah if you want to check out board games craig will be releasing board game videos and me plugging his channel makes it so he needs to do it as well Right. So, all that <laughs> stuff. So that is going to do it for the Ready Player One movie review. Let us know what your favorite Easter eggs were, what you liked about the movie. 
Please subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my newest videos, and I'll see you next time with another latest scoop.